Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Home Unis Plans and I am back with another memory spread. For this week I will be planning out the week of May 15th through May 21st and I'm using this absolutely stunner of a kit from Hello Petite Paper called Hidden Garden. This is my very first time to ever use a Hello Petite Paper kit and I gotta say I don't know what took me so long because I had so much fun planning with this kit. Um, it was actually funny because when I hauled this kit um, I talked about how I thought I made a mistake because I only had one, I had only purchased one sheet of florals and I was like, oh no, oh my gosh, you know, me and my obsession with florals, but I am so pleasantly surprised with how much I was able to make those florals stretch because um, florals came with the kit as well. Uh, like there was a whole section in... Um, I don't remember what sheet it was on, but there was like a whole section where it had florals that came with the kit too. And I was like, this is perfect. Plus along with the trims that I used, it was literally enough. And I still had some left over, which is insane to me, but I had so much fun with this kit. And like I said, I don't know what took me so long to jump on the bandwagon. I've seen so many of my favorite um, planner girls plan with Hello Petite paper. I know that Lauren and Rachel and Tay have planned with their kits before, and I, I'm always so obsessed with how their spreads turn out. So I finally jumped on board and I am converted. I love it so much. I had so much fun with this kit. There was everything that I needed plus more. I felt like I could really be creative with my layering and I just had so much fun. So yeah, um, it's in, I forgot to say, this kit is in rose gold foiling, which her rose gold is a little bit more on the coppery side. Like I remember whenever I was first looking at it, I was like, okay, hold on. Is that gold or is that rose gold? Um, Cause it's a little bit more of a coppery rose gold instead of like a pinkier tone, which I'm not mad at. I, I, I think it's gorgeous. And I kind of love mixing, um, like doing mixed metal rose gold spreads or mixed metal spreads in general. I think it's really pretty. Um, Okay, so this was the week of my little brother's 24th birthday, and I have talked about my younger brother before so much. Um, he's one of my best friends. I love him so much. So I don't know. I felt like this kit represented it well. Like I didn't necessarily, I'm not a person, okay, I'm not a person who does like birthday kits, like not even for my own birth. Okay, normally I can't do... Um, Normally they can't do, um, or I normally I can't do a birthday kit for my birthday because um, my birthday is the day after Christmas and so it, the week always like lands in such a way to where I, I use a Christmas kit. Um, and everyone else in my family, like obviously their birthdays are like spread out in like the seasons and I love using seasonal kits so I always just like to stick within the season but on the day of whoever's birthday I make sure that that day and that event is decorated up really nicely but all of this to say I was really happy that I used this kit for this week because I like the way that I marked his birthday um but yeah I loved all the elements um at first hand when you look at this kit you can the colors in it like those warm tone browns and stuff you're like well wait a minute that's kind of fall themed but the mixture of all like the flowers and the butterflies and everything i really i think it it complemented springtime really well i love a good neutral springtime kit it was nice to take a break from some of the brighter colors that i'd been working with so um okay if you have any questions about the base or any of the stickers that I used for creating the base, please, as always, don't, um, don't hesitate to leave me a comment asking me questions and I will do my best to answer as best as I can, but I am going to move on into the day to day. Starting off as always on Monday, I am marking sleeping in and I love the way that I marked this. So with uh, these Hello Petite paper kits, you get these little scalloped midi boxes they don't span the full width of the column and she does so well at maximizing her kits that um you get so much to layer with so i pulled in um, a swatch that came with the kit as well i love offsetting and layering swatches underneath midi boxes and then pulling in florals and all kinds of stuff like that i that's absolutely a tip and a trick that i got from tay watching her layering one of one of her planning 101 videos it's how to layer with a journaling kit it's gotten to a point now to where whenever I order kits, like sticker kits, I 
I order the journaling add-on as well because I love layering with journaling kits. I feel like it's, it, you know, that's where our community is right now is journaling kits and I think it's so much fun. So I did that. I pulled in the little lashes icon from White Your Stationery. That's one of my most favorite ways to mark sleeping in. Um, I marked going to the gym and I just pulled in a corner floral that came with the kit pulled in a bunch of dot clusters. I think those dot clusters are from the Pretty Pink Co. Um, and the butterfly is from uh, Sadie Stickers. I marked that I had lunch with my best friend on this day after we went to the gym. So I pulled in, um, okay, again, with Hello Petite Papers kits, these this little frame, um, it actually, it, it's cut in the middle. It's where you could like take it as just a frame and like layer um, stuff in and out, kind of like, um, you know, basically just the frame, or you can take the white it in center and put it in the center and have something um, white to write on, which is what I did. And I layered it with some florals and greenery from the kit. Um, the icon, the little plate icon is from White Your Stationery. Um, I marked that uh, we went to the pool on this day. So I pulled in one of my, that is my absolute favorite lace mini box from Bloom Paper Studio, layered it with a swatch from the kit and some florals, pulled in a bunch of foil deco. That little divider there, that like um, dotted um, squiggle divider, that's from Buttercream Stickers. That's new to her shop and I absolutely adore it. I was so happy that I got to pull in these little flip-flop icons from White Dish Stationery to mark going to the pool. I marked that I cleaned my house on this day, and that's actually the little spray bottle uh, came with the kit. It's one of the icons that came with the kit. And then to cap off the night, um, my best friend came over and we watched the D&D movie. I think I said it in my last plan with me, but that movie is like my husband's favorite right now. So we watched it so many times. <laughs> It's like his favorite. Um, okay, jumping over to Tuesday, I marked sleeping in the exact same way as I marked it on Monday with another swatch box and then that midi scallop box that came with the kit, some florals, and then the eyelashes are from White Deer Stationery. I marked going to the gym the exact same way. I pulled in some florals and then that little kettlebell icon is an icon that came with the kit. Um, I pulled in, okay, so I used another one of those pretty pink co, um, spring samplers that I had. I talked about this before I got a bunch of those, um, and I had a bunch of like butterfly and bird and springtime elements. And I loved pulling those into my springtime spreads. I feel like, I, like I said before, it was so nice to just have one foil sheet that just, I didn't have to think about. I could just pull it in and I wouldn't have to make a mess of my desk or anything. It was really nice to have that. And I loved all the little like different bird, like designs of the birds and the butterflies and the little clusters that were on there. So that was like such a huge help. And I'm definitely going to have to pick up more samplers from the Pretty Pink Co because I love them so much. Um, okay. I marked that I filmed some planner stuff and I pulled in a I think that's a third box yeah that's a third box layered it with some florals and then the planner icon is from the kit jumping down I'm marking that I organized some stickers and I love the way that I marked this I did a lot of layering here I pulled in the gingham um or is that gingham no that's not gingham that's more like a checkered um patterned squared box I pulled in a layered garland from the pretty pink co sampler layered in that is the OG fancy box, the one that started it all, I feel like. Tay got us all on the bandwagon of saying fancy box with this sticker right there. That is from Sweet Bella XOXO. I don't believe her shop is open anymore, which is such a bummer. But, you know, I have the stickers and I don't want them to just sit in my collection. So I love pulling them in. Layered some florals and some floral clusters. And then the stickers sticker is from White Deer Stationery. I marked that I had my Zoom class on this night, so I pulled in a piece of greenery, layered it with that yoga mat from uh, Crafts by Towie, pulled in some springtime stickers from the Pretty Pink Co. And then to cap off the night, I just marked that it was I had like a nice relaxing bath, so I pulled in some more florals, and then the bathtub icon is from White Deer Stationery. Okay, so obviously I slept in like every single day this week, except for the weekend. I don't know what was wrong with me. I, I guess I slept in. Um, but I marked that the exact same way as I marked it on Monday and Tuesday. I was, I loved how many mini boxes came with this kit. There were so many and gave so many layering opportunities. I loved that so much. I marked going to the gym the exact same way as I marked it the, day, the days before. Um, I loved, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and pick up more of those um, swirly divider things, like those dotted dividers from um, Buttercream Stickers because they're so pretty. They just give a little bit of something. I think it was Rachel who was talking about like just the simplicity 
of like dividers how she misses the simplicity and i gotta say i'm right there with you i miss it too i love i have like a whole collection of like different dividers from whenever dividers were a huge thing in the community and i've been trying to incorporate them more in um but i'm noticing the more i use them the more the less i'm noticing that shops are offering them so if you're a shop owner and you somehow stumble across this video i will purchase these dividers i will i'll do it, it it's i <laughs> it's me hi i'm the problem it's me <laughs> um okay um i marked that i made some pot roast I, I marked roast beef and i don't know why i mean it's pot ro i used my crock pot and i know that's not a crock pot icon but the crock pot icon from white deer stationery was freaking huge and i just i felt like it would look a little too cluttered um so i pulled in another scallop circle from the kit layered it with some florals and that is actually a dutch oven um icon from white deer stationery but you know it, it is what it is um, I pulled in some springtime foil deco, the birds and the dot clusters. Those are both from their Pretty Pink Co. I marked that I had a personal training session with my client on this night. So I marked that with um, some florals that came with the kit. And the yoga mat is from Cross by Towie. And oh, okay, so this was a night that I, this was the day that I uploaded my half letter highlights journal plan with me. I hadn't, I hadn't ever, you know, since the beginning of the year, whenever I started using it, I didn't, uh, I've been planning in it, you know, making those spreads. And I was like, I don't know. I contemplated since January, if I should upload a plan with me on that. And finally I broke down. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Because I had, I had people ask me, what do I do with my leftovers? And that's what I do with my leftovers. I use leftovers in my highlights notebook, in my memory journal, all of that stuff. And it got really well received and I know I need to, <laughs> I have a couple that I need to upload. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. So that was my first day uploading it and I was really happy with it. Um, and then to cap off the night on Wednesday, I just marked that I watch TV with my husband. Again, that's nothing new. I do that every night. It's one of our favorite ways to hang out with each other. Um, okay. Thursday, same old, same old. It was another sleep in and it was definitely a lazy day on this day. Um, okay, I'm marking that I had a really bad headache and I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I get like chronic migraines. Like it is, it's really annoying because sometimes they'll come on and like I'll be fine throughout the first like couple hours of my day and then all of a sudden they'll hit me and they'll hit me like a freaking ton of bricks and it's so annoying because they really put a damper on like my day because sometimes like they're unpredictable sometimes they'll be like okay i can manage this let me just take some medicine and i'll be okay but other times they literally knock me flat on my butt and i'm out for the rest of the day and it's so aggravating and so annoying and um if i write it in my journal in my planner it means that it was a really really bad one um so obviously this one kicked me on my butt because it was bad enough for me to mark in my planner and once again i marked that with a box that came with the kit layered it with a fancy box from Sweet Bella XOXO, pulled in some florals, and then the medicine bottle is from White Deer Stationery. I love using the medicine bottle to mark that because that's like, those are the days when I'm like, I have to like take medicine and put an ice pack on my, on my eyes and lay in a dark room and just hope that it goes away. It's, it's the most aggravating, annoying thing on the planet. If you have, if you get chronic migraines or just migraines in general, leave it in the comments below and let me know what do you do to deal with it. Something that has worked for me my entire life and I got this trick from my dad because he suffers from them as well. Both my parents do, so I'm, I know that I got it from them. Thanks mom, thanks dad. <laughs> um, but something that, that helps us is you get a Coca-Cola, like it has to be a Coca-Cola because there's something like about the the caffeine content and then a bc powder which is basically just powdered aspirin um but you take the bc powder and then you drink a coke and for some reason in like 15 minutes if you catch it in time that's the key you have to catch it in time like if you start to feel the beginnings of a migraine you have to catch it within like the first like two minutes that you have it um take that and within 15 minutes boom you're back to normal but if you are already in the thick of it it's going to take first of all it's going to take more than just one uh, sometimes it's i think on this day this was like a three maybe even a four bc powder day for me which that was whew, sometimes they're like that sometimes like i'll wake up from them like they will wake me up 
because of how badly my head hurt. It was just insane. I think I talked about this in a plane with me. Oh gosh, I don't even remember how many how many weeks ago now, but there was a night when I had such a horrendous migraine. I had like and I was out of BC powders. I had to call my dad because I knew they had some at their house. They had like a back stock and I called him and it was it was everything I could do to actually just like dial his number because moving my head in any direction hurt so bad. I was like in tears and like (laughs) my husband was like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, I just need an ice cold rag. And so he was getting me cold rags and I had to call my dad and he brought me over some like medicine and oh, it took like three hours for that to go away. But that one was really scary. So (laughs) don't let your migraines get bad. Take a tip from me. If you get migraines, Coke and BC, it'll save your life. You can thank me later. Anyways, I have completely talked over Thursday, so let's get into Friday. Um, I marked that I went to the pool, and I love using that little bikini icon. Um, It is already 100 degrees. Actually, it's like triple digits in Texas right now, so it started getting hot like in May. So we started going to the pool in May, and I love, you know, I love marking going to the pool with all the little different icons that I have for my dear stationery. This little bikini icon is one of my favorites. Um, I marked that me and my husband went on a date on this night. There's a uh, a little place in town called Yummy Yummy. It's um, basically like a build your own stir fry bowl place. You can also get sushi. It's really, really good. One of our favorite places. So I marked that utilizing one of the ovals that came with the kit. I layered it with a piece of torn washi, pulled in some florals and some hanging stars and the little utensils icons from Crest by Towie. I marked that I played with stickers on this night. So to mark that, I pulled in some florals and then the little open planner icon is from White Deer Stationery. Um, Once again, pulled in a bunch of foiled pieces from the Pretty Pink Co. and Buttercream stickers, Sadie stickers, all of that good stuff. And then to cap off the night, me and my husband just watched TV. Not entirely sure what we were watching. We're on a new kick right now. (laughs) My husband found this show. I like, I'll I'll talk about it in like this week's plan with me because we found it this week, but my husband found this show on Netflix. It's called physical 100 and it's literally like a Korean version of survivor. It's like the 100 most fit people in all of Korea. I think it's like all of, I think it's all of Korea. I think they're speaking Korean. Anyways, don't quote me, but there's like a hundred contestants and they do these like just physical challenges and they're like, it's the strongest people. And it's so much fun. And we've been watching that for the past like week, but that's just one of those things that like my husband and I find these shows and we (laughs) We just binge them. It's so much fun. We find different things. But anyways, okay, on Saturday, I am marking that this was my younger brother's birthday. I love the way that I marked that. I pulled in another, um, that's not a swatch, but I layered another fancy box with a piece of torn paper from the kit, pulled in a bunch of florals and like butterfly deco. The little cake icon is from White Deer Stationery. Uh, I just love the way that I marked that. It was, he turned 24, which is insane to me. Like in my head, my brother is always going to be 15 years old just because like, I don't know why, like the, the little, the big sister in me is like, I don't want him to grow up, (laughs) but he's such a, he's such a cool person. I love him so much. But anyways, I marked getting up early. Uh, I marked that with some of the greenery from the kit, pulled in an alarm clock from Cross by Towie, uh, another divider swoosh thing from buttercream stickers. Um, okay. I really love how I marked this. This, I had a four hour airbrush gig on this day. So I pulled in that torn notebook paper, pulled in some florals and I layered in a midi box and then I don't know if you guys see, do you guys see that I have a foiled airbrush icon? That is all thanks to my mom. She started foiling my airbrush icons and I love them so much. So now I have non-foiled airbrush icons and foiled airbrush icons and I could not be happier. Uh, I remember for the longest time, there were times that I was like marking airbrush with like makeup icons, which it, it didn't fit the vibe. And so I, like I was looking at different shops and no shops had them. And so finally I was like, mom, I need an airbrush icon. She was like, okay. And so she looked it up and she made them and now she's foiling them for me. And I am spoiled. Mom, you're the best. I know you're watching. <laughs> 
Okay, um, I marked that we had, uh, after my gig, I came back over to my parents' house and I played some board games with my younger brother and his girlfriend. And then to cap off the night, we watched Dungeons and Dragons with my dad. Yes, we watched D&D twice this week. <laughs> once with my best friend and then once with my dad because my dad had never seen it. And it is just that good. If you haven't heard me say it already, you guys got to watch it. It's on Paramount+. Plus. It's so much fun. Um, okay. Jumping over to Sunday, I am marking getting up early and I'm marking that the same way as I marked sleeping in throughout the week. It's, well, not the exact same way because I pull in the alarm clock icon from Cross Vitaly instead of the lashes, but I pulled in some greenery from the kit and some florals, a bunch of butterfly deco. Um, and then, like I said, the alarm clock icon is from Cross by Taui, and that's all to mark getting up early because we were going to church on this day. So to mark going to church, I pulled in some florals and, oh, okay, this church icon, that is actually a foiled church icon that my mom made for me. So not only do I have foiled airbrush icons, but I have foiled church icons too. Um, my mom discovered, finally discovered a cool way to actually like create foiled icons. So I'm really excited and also very spoiled because now we can foil our own icons, which is fan freaking tastic. Mom, you're amazing. Um, okay. I am marking that I had to drive a friend to the airport because she had to go out of town with her husband. So to mark that, I'm pulling in another circle from the kit, layering it with some florals and some deco, pulled in a bunch of like foiled, fo not icons, foiled deco pieces, some foiled clusters, and then the little bird, I, uh, clus ugh, the little bird foil piece is from the Pretty Pink Co. And then I love this. Uh, the little airplane is from White Stationery. That's one of my favorite ways to mark going to the airport or going on a trip. It's so cool. Um, and I don't get to use them very often because I don't fly very often, but I know there are times when I need them, so I have to have them. Um, okay, then I marked that I went to lunch with my best friend because she rode with me um, to take our other friend to the airport. And once again, I layered a swatch with a quarter box, pulled in some florals and a bunch of foil pieces. And then the little icon is from Cross by Towie. And then to cap off the day, me, my husband, and my best friend, we all just went swimming at my apartment pool. So to mark that, I pulled in some florals, layered them on either side of the column pulled in the little garland um, piece from the Pretty Pink Co. And then the adorable little swimming pool icon that I'm gonna pull in is from White Your Stationery. Like I said, I love all of the different like seasonal summertime ways, like icons. That way I have different ways to mark going swimming and doing like summertime activities um, in my planner. White Your Stationery literally has an icon for everything. It is insane. Um, but yeah, that is everything for this spread. Like I said, I had so much fun planning with this kit. My very first time ever using a Hello Petite paper uh, kit. Definitely will not be the last because this kit was so easy to plan with. Like, oh my gosh, it was a dream. And like I said, I had some left over. Like I still had florals left over even though I only had one sheet of florals. But yeah, these are the leftovers that I have along with the Viv Wiggle. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Jen. I do planner things. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying well. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.